welcome to Coxie's Picks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today I'm going to be talking about Jack Fox. Jack Fox is recently doing a giveaway. It's uh, a I Love Lever Locks and so quite aptly I've picked out a six lever lock uh, made by Secure It. It's not the greatest. It's it's good enough for practicing on and uh, I'm going to show you a little exploit at the end of it. Um, but what Jack's asked us to do is ask us to reach deep in our soul and, and see if there's anyone that they could you can bring back a fond memory um, whilst picking the lock. Um, so that you could say that they inspired you or they they genuinely influenced you in any which way. Um, but the thing is, is, is I'm a bit of a nutbag. So I, I take all my influences from various different sources. So um, I'm just going to stick to lock sport. And uh, I'm going to say what inspired me, A, to join, uh, and then B, to carry on and pursue all the different facets of the lock sport that I do. Because my channel is quite diverse. I don't say just do, for example, door locks. Uh, I do lever locks. I do handcuffs. Uh, I mean, I've done a lot of handcuffs. Um, but I, every time that I find a new style of lock that I want to get in and pick, it's um, it's been one of those things where you just people in that realm start giving you the tips. So, for example, Southampton Lock Picking Club, absolute great bunch of guys. Every time you make a post, uh, they're always there, to, willing to provide some advice and help and assistance. So, say you're struggling with a lock. Fire them an email. Ask, how on earth do I do that? And then straight away they'll be back up. Now hopefully they'll give you an answer or they'll, they'll point you in the direction of a video that may help you out. But yeah, awesome. It's the same with Jack. Jack's quite willing to jump in, give an assist, and point out where you're going wrong. And just say, yep, I've never seen that before. Or even if you do something that he hasn't done before, he's there straight away asking, how did you do that? Where can I get that? How did you do this? And then you've got the guys like Brummy, who's absolutely amazing with what he does. What he does is he takes ordinary objects and turns them into lever locking tools. Now, I did promise that I'd show and talk through a bypass. So you've seen me pick the lock twice with single lucky lever picking. This one is vulnerable to overlifting, so I might as well quickly talk you through that. So whilst we're going in, um, what it means is that I can lift the entire stack up and hit the top and so that the gate is large enough to just slide the bolt across. So what you have is you take your key, you find your maximum lift for that particular designer lock, which will be the bolt by the way, and then you just bend the wire like so. So as you can see, it's bent down and around. So this one is for the secure it. We've got it locked up. We put in our tensioner. We then add our rather crude all-in-one key. We apply tension. We then turn and we remove. Now, the bolt isn't completely thrown because I'm not quite high enough on my tension tool, which as you can see, is a little bit too small. So that little gap there means that it's just stuck half in, half out, and so that the bolt hasn't fully thrown. Two methods you can do, you can reach in or you can tap it out. So let's just go one more time and show you the reach in and then we'll wind this video up because it's a little bit longer than what I normally make my videos so apologies. So that's it, it's open and now what we're going to do is you can see that the shackle hasn't moved. I'm going to reach in, you're going to start in that position and reach over. So you go up, oh, he says and you'll feel it and it'll pop easy as that so I'll drop a link to Jack's um, channel in the in the description all right by all means feel free to subscribe to me but however I highly recommend you subscribe to Jack and you watch his videos especially his breakdown on lever locks very interesting stuff that he does especially when he starts taking the lids off and showing the innards stay safe everyone and I'll see you in the next video goodbye